through all of my work with employees and then our whole department's work, uh, community health, we do the employee screenings and we've been doing that it's probably 10 years or so. And we, we look at employees' cholesterol levels and glucose levels and blood pressure. And over time, when we do phone calls and emails and we follow up, we hear lots of positive things. Um, employees are thankful that we have the health fairs. If it wasn't for the health fair, I would have never known. You know, some of the employees, the blood sugars have, have registered over 500. And so they go to the doctor and, and get the help they need, and they're very grateful. I have a lot of the employees that say, oh, I don't have time to take care of myself. I don't have time to exercise. And, and so, you know, we kind of put some of it back on them. Well, what do you think you can begin doing? You know, you don't have to be 100% with your diet. You don't have to exercise every day. We, most of us don't have that much time, but you can do a little bit better each day. Um, you know, bring a couple healthy snacks with you to work. You know, take a 10 minute walk when you're on your lunch break. It, it's very rewarding. You know, sometimes I think like any of us, you know, we can all get fatigued in our work and, and I think, Oh gosh, I've answered so many questions and I've talked to so many employees. What else could there be to do? But there's always someone else who's now today they're ready. You know, maybe they weren't ready last month or last year when we saw them. We've seen employees who've had some high numbers for several years in a row and oh, they're still not taking their medicine. They still don't have a doctor, you know. Um, but all of a sudden, they want our help. You know, they want to talk to a dietitian. They want to do better with their diabetes. And so I think, oh my gosh, there's so much work to do. I still have work. <laughs> you know, because now someone else can make, make a change and we can make a difference.